shout. Well, y'all just don't know when to shout. Uh, if you really understood the, the, yeah, the magnitude of his glory, then you can understand that if God says he's going to release it, that he's going to reveal it, when he does, everybody is going to see it. See, for some of you, that means that when the glory of God is revealed upon you, that everybody is going to see your elevation. Everybody is going to see the promotion. Everybody is going to see the anointing that is on you. Everybody is going to see what God is doing. Everybody is going to, yeah. And when they see it, they can't deny it because it will be God that did it. And he's going to do it in such a way that even your worst hater can't deny it. God is on their life. Look, God, God did that for them. I, God, I, I, I tried all I could, but I couldn't stop it because God is about to reveal his glory and everybody is going to see it together. See, you don't even have to worry about gossip this go around because everybody's going to see the same thing the same way. You don't have to worry about a conflicting story because God is going to do it in such a way that everybody is going to see the same thing and when it happens, they're going to see it happen the same way. The glory of the Lord shall, not might, not could be, not maybe, it shall be revealed. And everybody, all flesh will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Now, here's the question I want to get to. Uh, based on what the word says, based on what I done read, uh, do you believe? See, because I can get up here and I can say all these pretty catchy phrases and give you all these cliches and give you all this what thus said the Lord, but, but if you don't believe it, I ain't said nothing to you. Do, do you Believe that the glory of the Lord is coming. Do you believe that his glory shall be revealed to you? Oh, yeah. Let me get to the spirit, man. Do you believe that the glory of the Lord is going to be revealed in you? Whew. Talk to yourself right here. Tell you, say, self, God's glory is about to be revealed in me. Jesus, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. I'm, his glory is about to be revealed in you. Do, but, but do you believe it? Because I can really, if you catch this, I can be through with this message right here when I make this next statement. If you can catch it right, if you catch it right, if you catch it right, I can be through with this next statement. If you believe it, then you'll see it. Ooh, Lord. Why y'all, they looking, they looking, I got to do some more work. They don't, they don't believe me, Ross. If, he's saying, if you believe it, then you'll see it. No, no, no. If you believe it, then you'll see it. Hmm. If I can believe then I'm rich, then I'll see it. If I can believe that I'm the head and not the tail, Saka boss, so then I'll see it. Y'all, y'all not getting this. If if you can believe that I'm above only and not beneath, then then you can see it. If you can believe that that you are prosper in health and prosper in your finances, prosper on your job, prosper in your marriage, then you can see it. If you believe it, ask your neighbor. Do you believe it? Do you? Do you believe it? Do you believe it? That's the wrong one. They're looking like they don't know what you're talking about. Look at somebody ask and, tell, and tell them, if you believe it, then you can see it. If you believe it, then you can, you can see it. Okay. All right. I know why. I know why some of y'all are looking like that because you're saying everything going on around me ain't lining up at all with what you're saying, Elton. You, you, you really you don't live in my house, so you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm dealing with. You don't know all the hell I got going on on my job and in my home and in my community. You, you, you don't know. You, you, come, come spend a day with me. You really don't know what I'm having to deal with. You don't really don't know who I'm having to deal with. You really don't know how many bills I got stacked up on my table and in, on the refrigerator and, and in the bathroom and in the bedroom. You, you really don't know how many folks really been bothering me. You really don't know how long my self-esteem has been this low. 
home. You really don't know how long I done had to worry about my situation. You really don't know how long that man been bothering me, that woman been talking about me. You really don't know how long my mind been messed up like this. Can I, can I tell you, it don't matter. Because what you're going through, what you've been through, was about God actually positioning you, posturing you, preparing you to be the recipient of what his glory is about to reveal and make manifest in the earth on your behalf. It may not have been good to you, but it was good for you because his glory is about to be revealed in the midst of all that you've been through. Boy, I wish I could get somebody, 10 folks to get excited right now if you really understood that what I've been through was about God put me in a place to where when his glory is revealed, it's going to supersede all the hell I had to go through, all the nights I had to cry, all the folk I had to walk away from me, all the times I had to be in lack. It was about his glory. Somebody say, his glory is about to be revealed in you. to do with your education or lack thereof ain't got nothing to do with your background ain't got nothing to do with what your last name is if you got a criminal record or not does not matter how long you've been saved but god is about to blow you up to make you a number one stunner just because he said he would not because you earned it not because you deserved it but because he looked at you and said i'm gonna use you i'm gonna use you i don't care what you've been through how tall you are how short you are he looked and said that's what i want to use to show myself strong and mighty to he's gonna do it because he wants to He looked at you despite your imperfections, despite your downfalls, despite your mess ups, despite your mistakes, despite how you've been talked about, despite what you lost. He looked at you and said, I'm still going to use you for my glory. Because he said, I know the thoughts that I think toward you. The thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. If he thought it about you, God said, I'm still going to do it. Regardless of what your enemies did. Regardless of what your haters said. Regardless of the weapon that was formed against you, that's still not going to prosper. God says, if I thought it, and if I said it, I'm still going to do it. He said, I know what I'm doing. I know why I'm doing it that way. He says, I know why you had to go through what you've been through, the way you went through it. I know why they lied. I know why they backbit you. I know why they did it, why they fired you. I know why they gave you the repossession note. I know why they came to foreclosure. I know why you lost your job. He says, it's about my glory, not yours. He said, I know what I'm doing. And still, what's coming to you is better than what's been. He said, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. He said, I'm about to release my door. I'm ready to release more of my power, more of my abundance, more of my increase, more of my favor. Let hear God talking to you. I'm ready to release it to you, to release it on you, to release it for you. I'm ready to give you more of my glory. Now the question is, are you ready for more? Do you believe that what I said, I can do for you? I know what you're doing for Elder, I know. I know where he live, I know where he drive. It ain't about me, it's about you. I know the bishop can take care of, I know we take them offerings up to him. It ain't about him, it's about you. Do you believe? 